The Cartesian plane is divided into four quadrants in an anti-clockwise direction. Angles are always measured in an anti-clockwise direction. The four quadrants are 1, 2, 3, and 4. All the angles in the first quadrant measure between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. All the angles in the second quadrant measure between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. And all the angles in the third quadrant measure between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. All the angles in the fourth quadrant measure between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. The 0 degrees and 360 degrees share the same axis in the first and fourth quadrant. Notice that the radius will always be positive. However, the values of x and y change depending on the position of the point on the Cartesian plane. In the first quadrant, we have positive x values and positive y values. In the second quadrant, we have negative x values and positive y values. In the third quadrant, we have negative x values and negative y values. And in the fourth quadrant, we have positive x values and negative y values. As a result, the trigonometric ratios can be positive or negative. For example, sine of theta in the first quadrant would be equal to y over r. We can see that the sine of the y value in the first quadrant is positive, and the radius is always positive. Therefore, sine of theta in the first quadrant will be positive, meaning the overall sine of the ratio will be positive. In a similar way, cos of theta in the first quadrant will also be positive, as cos of theta equals x over r. Similarly, tan of theta is also positive, as tan of theta equals y over x. Using the letters C, A, S, and T, we can indicate which of the ratios are positive in each quadrant. As all the ratios are positive in the first quadrant, we will use the letter A to indicate the ratios are positive. S for the second quadrant, as sine is positive in the second quadrant. T for the third quadrant, as tan is positive in the third quadrant, and C for the fourth quadrant as cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. We can prove the cast rule by taking any of the ratios in any of the quadrants. For example, in the fourth quadrant, cos theta is x over r, and we know that in the fourth quadrant, x is positive and r will always be positive. Therefore, cos of theta in the fourth quadrant will be positive. If we were to take tan of theta in the fourth quadrant, we know that tan theta is y over x. And we know that in the fourth quadrant, y is negative and x is positive. So therefore, we will get a negative answer.